a very underrated size for happy planner discs is like a standard size <laughs> and i know they don't come up with that they have a mini skinny mini or whatever it's called i don't know i did this years ago and i freaking love this size okay it is everything but i love to just flip through once in a while i get my my little how you call that hair oh my goodness i can't even think like i get a wild hair and i want oh i think i want to steal this because this is like cute um i get to where I like oh i want to use this because i punch in standard is my favorite size so i punch in standard size inserts in here and it just it just does all the things for me so I have been trying to rock my brain with my homeschool planner. The one that you guys saw me set up, it's not gonna work because it's just too big. And even though I want a year of record, I'm gonna have to probably make my husband his own and then my own for record keeping purposes because I am not, I get tired with weekly day, weekly layouts and weekly things. All I need to know is attendance tracker and like what we did that day. Um, I don't really like lesson plan. I have curriculums. I have them again. She's only six still. So it's not like we're like really in like, we're really just learning how to read, write math. So anyhow, I just wanted to show this cause it's just so beautiful. It's in the Carpe Diem. Is this Carpe Diem? I always jack it up. Yeah. Standard size or wide size. And then let's talk about the mini. Holy crap. The mini is just Franklin Covey compact size to me. And I had set this up. You guys saw a video of that. And I will use this. See, I was going to use it for August just to have fun in. I use the heck out of this thing too sometimes. And so um, I think Happy Planners discs are the best they have really cute inserts but i like to franklin franken plan or whatever um because i have the arc punch this kind of comes out i don't like that little thing what it does um i can i can punch all the things and then i also thought to do homeschool planning in in the mini but then i was like mm, i don't know it's still not 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 off the table okay so um i do have quite a few things for happy planner or like i mean i should say disc not happy planner happy planner is just the brand because there are a lot more brands that do this disc bound thing you've got tool you've got <sighs> arc you've got um there's jane agenda there's cloth and paper there's i mean there's like a lot of people that do it now um so it's just it's lovely to me to where i can I, I like that i'm able to jump in and out of stuff i like that again it's not my main planner but homeschool i've got to get really serious about <laughs> i don't have it all the way in but usually i put it in this um cover so anyhow i have a whole flip on this if you want to go look so just recently today i had and if i have to abruptly end and come back it's because my kids so i am at some point probably going to put a footage of the lesson planner that i have right now that is eight and a half by 11 which is known as like the big size and i don't like that size in happy planner i like the classic size i like the mini disc bound and i like the standard i should say i don't like the size with that those size with discs well this is not completely set up, but I just kind of would want to show you my thought process. Um, I want to put like a little dashboard. I want to put her goals. I want to like all that. But I found this really fun setup that I had or color scheme. My daughter loves rainbows. Okay. And I know it's super bright, but it's homeschool. And I also thought it could be used for some commonplace stuff for me and some house stuff. And I could intertwine my... Um, my son's things too 
And so it says time to do big things. And it's like this pastel color rainbow. And I found this and then it had these dividers. This was 2021, 20, 2022, or this, this color scheme. So I took all of the monthlies and um, so let's go over here. This is better because, it, and I need to fill it up. That's why, I, I mean, I need to put more stuff in here. So it looks like this right now. So this was the monthly, and then this is the back of November. This was the layout, and I could have easily used this layout, but I didn't want, I wanted subjects. And then it has like one of these, right? So basically what I do is just glue this together so I can have dividers for every single month right and they're really really cute they're 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 just like that's august that's september october i mean i'm not gonna go through the whole thing who knows what this color one was but up front i was like you know just put paper put what you can do you know these are like these little bullet point thingies you know just do that for right now so like add an attendance tracker or use the yearly line paper in the back so I was like, okay, use this for attendance. Why not? It's a great page. And all you have to do is just check off maybe the amount of time you did or just highlight it or, you know, anything special you want to write. You can totally do that. I also have this. And this was taken out of another setup, these muted color ones. So then I put washi right here and then I'll label it with something. I can either just cross out the months or this can be like field trip. I don't know. I can just make that whatever I want. But this is what I had found. They were 2020 uh, Michael's spiral bound planners, right? So here's August. I have dated ones only until the end of this year. And then everything else I have is prior years. And then I could put maybe some goals here. So it's like another divider. But I found these. They're not quite... They're not the Happy Planner Disc Classic size. They are like more of an A5 size. So because I have the punch, it also aligns with the day. 2020 will align with 2023. So today is the 17th. So right now I'm just testing some stuff out. I didn't even like punch the rest. I only punched one page and then I put dailies in. And that's why I thought I can do more house-related stuff, more schedule stuff, more whatever I want to do. But this is all within August, right? And if I want to write any notes, if I want to write whatever, I can. So I was like, okay, language arts, math, writing is what we're really focusing on. And on this side, I can do notes of what was going on, her exercise online. And then this can be for me, journaling about my day of homeschooling. Um, so I don't know. I haven't mapped out the topics yet I just did this just to um I don't know and it could be that maybe this is way too much space and I just need this one page right and then this could be notes because we're really basically just doing like three subjects and so I can use like even so if I want to put online and exercise right here I can and then use the other side for journaling or I can use it like this but don't tab it out like with any kind of sections and then just use this for me or use this for the house somehow like cleaning, um, journaling I like right here for me. So I can just do, I do like the notes about homeschooling for her. Like she struggled with a lot. We were at the table, we were coloring, she didn't want to do anything. I threw in a worksheet and she did lowercase. Um, she definitely didn't want to do anything, but I sat with her and we watched the kids, kids kiddos world sight words and surprisingly she was able to read some of these sight words they were three letter ones so just being able to like figure out like what happened that day and then for duolingo um which is a free app very 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 good app if you are homeschooling and so um i thought i can go into more detail but again we're not like officially officially Starting, we're not going to start till like September as far as lessons with our curriculum for language arts and math. So right now I'm just using substitution things like worksheets and things that we do or if we count pennies or if like more of an unschooling approach. I mean, that's kind of our style anyway. But guys, I just, I just got excited because I thought, you know, this could be a really, really good thing for me. So a, a part of that 
A5 thing had um, important contacts and like a vision board. I still need to get the other lesson planner and merge all that stuff into here. But this is where I thought it could be like a list section in the back where all her goals would go and all her things would go. This was from Erin Condren. I got it years ago. I put there my own custom thing. Um, then this was another week that I found layout undated from Michael's back in 2020. I really wish they didn't get rid of these things. Like one point in time, Michael's had so many planners they offered and they got rid of them. So after this is where I'm going to put lined paper, goals, ideas, and just all the stuff. So I've got a little thing for a folder and then I got a little thing for here in case I want to like add some more things. This came from the actual little planner from Michael's. Um, so anyhow, y'all, I, I am really excited to kind of see this morph. But I did want to show you guys, I thought to put this here, just because this is the standard size. And it's really nice to just see her right up at the front. I don't need to have the autumn thing. This was I was going to use for something else. But, or I don't know, I can just put that somewhere. But either way, I would definitely update you guys on how this morphs or if it doesn't work. But I really do believe Disc Bound is a really good system. I've always loved it um brands whatever there there's many but i've always loved the disc bound and i wanted to share thanks for watching